Choose that snake, that snake that I'm about to get. You know what I'm saying? No duck. Snakes you got no are duck one of the most feared classes in the game. With a number of powerful builds and a vast array oh, of you, uh, uh, stream it? abilities, or, however, yeah, 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 yeah. clearly been more successful than others. Oh, oh. So, in this video, which was sponsored by Curiosity hey, Stream, we'll be going over the snake tier list. Snake tier list. Which builds rank high? I ain't gonna cap. This seems like some shit is right up our alley. Niggas builds, be arguing like shit. Overview of the basic attributes and special abilities. This guy holds. Big holes. Look at that hole. History of the snake. Oh, they double team that nigga. So, what snakes are one of the newer factions in the game. The Joining the what? game's roster during the latter part of that the Mesozoic got expansion. Why got legs? Why got legs? What's a fucking lizard? Of the lizard That's that one on shit, uh, Specifically Lila. adapted to burrowing about... gameplay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that little fast to min max. That little fire. Yeah. Eventually opted to yeah, put the legs on it. The legs act. <laughs> this ended up being a far more successful yeah. gambit than anyone could have anticipated. As what? it not only granted these lizards better burrowing ability, but also opened up a bunch of other strategies. Oh, they said turn it up. Hold on. While the snake build first hit the scene during a meta game dominated by dinosaurs, is that stop audio? Didn't become a huge threat in the meta until after uh, no, the dinosaur up on YouTube. were banned oh, YouTube, in the bet. KT balance patch. During this oh, chaotic post-meta game, they're using, game, snake game, they're using games. Yeah. Experimented with okay. some crazy builds, including the giant Titano Boa build. But while Titano Boa's giant size granted it short-term success. I think the strategies that the snake player base went on to specialize in are even more effective. Fast forward to today's meta, and snakes are one Smash of the most on successful bitch. predator factions in the game. Owing this success to a handful of powerful, unique abilities. Oh, oh. The most obvious of these is Slither, <laughs> the snake's unique mobility <laughs> option that it gained in exchange for losing its legs. At first glance, this might seem extremely hey. low, as snakes cannot jump and so move more slowly than I hope they Mark would. They Didn't he say a black, he could beat the black mom in a fight? Wow, but he said with a weapon, the he can't, can't beat that bitch barrier. does open up bro. a lot of other options to snake mains. Rather than jumping over barriers, snakes can oftentimes find a way to slither through them. So. This gives so snakes a lot of areas of the map that yeah. are normally much more difficult to access, and means things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less effective at keeping snake players Damn, out. Damn, I didn't cut the fuck out of there. Hold that nigga. Oh, that spawn oh, yeah. Yeah. Make this on. They all make this on. They really make this on. Large build to remain very close to the ground and benefit from the stealth bonus of even the shortest grass and foliage. That's crazy. Despite not having claws, oh. snakes they need nerf are highly effective climbers, making it very Wait, difficult all to snakes ever truly get out of reach of a snake. All snakes. Still, as a rushdown option, Slithering tends they to be too right yeah. reliable Look to catch up to other players. Face. So while snakes may not have the ability to chase you down, Boy, I'm they've stacked their smoke. movement kit to ensure that no one is ever true. Oh, no, that's, that's, your that's a sorry snake. Be poised to capitalize on that. Oh, the snake's basic damn. strike is a little on the weak side for such a dangerous predator. Their bites can't yeah. deal that much damage oh, on the road and are oh, easy. Oh, he blocked that oh. It's for this reason oh. that snakes tend to spec into various venom effects to infuse their bites with. God damn, look at that a variety of status effects. We'll get into more as we progress through the tier list. And they got the fuck but up in editor. general, Venom greatly increases damage. the damage potential a snake can deal oh, with its bite. Yeah. Yeah. Without this, many snakes would have no means of defense. Oh, 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 Snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game. But which snakes should be feared the most? God, that, uh, Venom is so fucking weak, bro. They didn't take that off nature. <laughs> so the lower tiers on this list <laughs> contain bullshit. members of the snake are faction known as Colibrids. This is the largest group of snakes and contains almost every snake build in the game, build. except for the ones you're actually afraid of. Look Starting down. at the very bottom of this group, we have the garter snake, one of the weakest sorry. snake builds in the game. Not the twilight the princess, are actually really? unsure whether or not this build is venomous, but if it is, it's some of the weakest venom in the game. <laughs> and with no other offensive <laughs> abilities, fuck. the God garter snake essentially villain. only has favorable matchups against things far smaller than it, like frogs oh, and mice. Because Sorry. they're so vulnerable, Damn. Garter Snake players love to attack aquatic targets like tadpoles and small fish. Oh, but they trash. have no actual abilities that synergize oh, with this playstyle, nor is it a particularly good Hey, Chad, what, what snake I think will be number one on the tier list, bro? It takes on considerable risk when they venture into the water. Black Mamba? Black Mamba? Snakes are also caught in an endless King Cobra, bro. wasting a ton of evolution points, evolving extreme toxin resistance to the poison of a specific newt build. Oh, what's that shit in the Amazon? very efficient, but Wh I guess one? the Garter Snake needs to preserve its own anacondas? matchups. Is that what it was? The, 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 the Next super big we have the niggas. Racer Snake. This is a snake build that put an above average number of evolution points into mobility, making it mm. one of the fastest snake builds in the game. That's not really saying a lot given that snakes tend to have pretty poor movement speed. But credit where credit is due, uh, this does give them a little better chance of dashing into cover when Why is he talking about this? Like, 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 like a video game, as bro. with a lot of mobility-centric builds, 
This oh, alone oh. isn't enough to make hey. them competitive oh. and viable. And they got, oh. they got, he got options, but he's covering this shit. Speed, they're usually still too slow to chase down many of their preferred attack targets. There are also worse You're climbers than these the snakes. These fucking snakes, the snakes are the most embarrassed snakes in the world, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got put on a fucking highlight reel. The worst matchup is against birds, and unfortunately, that one's gotta retire. Speed, speed usually <laughs> isn't yeah. Yeah. against and he a that nigga? aerial attack. Yeah, the all yeah. watch, all watch. Applications for their signature me. abilities plants them firmly in F tier for me. Uh -oh. Next on the tiers, we have the vine. Hey, that ain't kind of clean, now, huh? There are many highly effective oh, awesome that that nigga. And exactly. all the, out, the vine snake isn't terrible. I'll it's keep got that nigga. great stealth and is an excellent no, climber. You ain't but I mean, just venomous? look at this thing. I'll just say he was the clean. Lowest HP oh, and defensive stats of any snake. This built oh, forward to absolutely any fast. attack. They oh, can trust their survival to their above average stealth stats. Nerd ass snake. That fails and the vine snake is destroyed. They resort to intimidation. That bitch their is clean. Hold on. Tactic consists of sticking out their back. <laughs> 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 Laughing at the stupid ass. Uh, offensive display, <laughs> especially when this warning is backed by some of the weakest venom. Oh, oh, definitely not yeah, oh, due to its decent camouflage, but with nothing else going for it, it's stuck in D tier. It's that fake crazy snake. <laughs> <laughs> Next in D tier, we have the tiger keelback. Okay, this snake build fine. breaks the mold when it comes to toxic strategies in snakes. As I'm rather than dumping all of its evolution points in into the venom, the keelback <laughs> also allocates some of its resources into becoming poisonous, meaning that they can inflict oh. the toxic status effect oh. when dealing damage and when taking damage. Oh, he holds the bird too. This extra defensive ability definitely raises the keelback's ranking compared oh, to the other oh, yeah, that's it, However, overall, it's still not that great. Both that's their it, venom and their poison aren't all that potent, and it's possible that going all in on one of these strategies might have been the better play in the long mm. run. Still, the keelback strategy does mitigate one of the Colorbred faction's main weaknesses, though, which is that they have a hard time using their venom defensively. Many Colorbreds, including the Vine Snake and Keelback, are venomous. This is useful because, I mean, how else would a snake barely thicker than a piece of spaghetti deal any damage, right? The problem is, Colorbreds lack the efficient venom delivery abilities Wiper. found in the more dangerous snake builds. Mm. Their fangs are located at the back of their mouths. What? And these fangs no, so inject venom. They sold them, niggas. Venom is just yes. kind of part of their saliva, so to deal any damage with them, they need to really bro. chew on their target. For <laughs> the oh, that was a right throat. <laughs> as you might expect, this makes individual guess. strikes from most venomous <laughs> Colorbreds quite harmless, as they don't oh. contain much venom per hit. And they also mm. can't really use their fangs unless they get a hey, really dude, solid uh, bite. Darshan Patel so donated, the Killback's uh, poison does sort of cover for this weakness, which saying. is great. And for that, it gets to the top of D tier. He said, "Dude, However, you say words like defensive poison is really by no like means the only way like, to mitigate like, the drawbacks of having rear fangs." With an S or as we'll see as we move out of the low tier to get you and into mid tier. Uh, here we have the Blum Dean Sinclair donated to say y'all should watch Uncle Joe Funny Moon. This snake kind of just does everything the vine snake does, but better. Mm. It's an excellent climber and has great camouflage. Well, what snake is it? Also packs a devastating, bite and extremely overpowered venom for its tier in terms of potency. And while it does have rear fangs, they're significantly larger than most colubrids. But its best adaptation is that the blem snake uh. can open its mouth Damn. far wider than oh, most yeah, snakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, a venom-infused bite in spite of oh, the not what a damn! Fangs. This allows I've never the blem snake to go toe to toe with high tier. I thought it was a chameleon, though. As well as letting it use its potent that was venom. That's a chameleon. Come on, 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 the King Snake is a large snake build with they no venom based ability. They said the cat chili is good too. Instead, oh no, venom! Y'all yeah, be shocked on which one's extra. Appreciate you for the five dollar donation. Oh, constriction is a type a of cat chili. Hey, that oh, my, I might have to go to that bitch too. Results in a guaranteed KO, even on extremely large targets. Its main oh, this all is that this attack strategy is highly vulnerable to disruption. A constrictor player has to be able to survive all counter attacks from its target while attempting to restrain it. So with that said, you'd think it'd be very hey, difficult to use this like technique that. against that's the like, venom that's snake, that's right? Yeah, so that's fighting another snake. That nigga's very scared. difficult oh, to grapple oh. with, giving them an easy opportunity Shooter. to fight back. Ah, that's where the king that snake's screaming. second ability, venom resistance, comes hey, in. You can't trust these old oh, oh, snakes. You gotta remember, the snake's venom hey, makes deep. the king snake's matchup against other snakes horribly one-sided. Oh, he had bitch ass to those snakes. King snakes have high enough accuracy on their attacks that they tend to go for them, which negates a snake's counterattack potential. What? This is about where the king snake's ends, though. 
as the rest of its matchups are pretty standard for a snake. And with no venom of its own, it doesn't pose much of a threat to players it can't reliably oh. immobilize in its core. Mm -hmm. it it it's a pretty simple oh. change a constrictor build can make in order to increase the effectiveness of its constriction, size. Beats it, okay. Boas and pythons are the poster children for this type of strategy. That's what you're getting right there. You said you want a, a python? Properly classified as tanks. Uh, you said you want a ball python. python. That's what I'm saying, man. We ain't beating that. Pay attention, Nick. Both contain Nick. specific examples of highly effective <laughs> tanks. I want a ball python, bro. Although they boas and pythons have no venom, they're and it's large teeth and incredibly high. Oh, yeah! There's a python right there. Them directly. With their thick scales and huge size. And they can do a four This Tito. He can do a four two. He can a lot of hits during a fight. Good, bro. No way! Oh! For quite an uphill battle, oh, they to stand and fight. No way! Well, build with high defense and DPS, no like the crocodilian factions, what? are easily overcome with brute strength. Once a boa or python uses their oh. piercing fangs and powerful coils oh, to trap no. them in infinite grab combo. Look at that Back shit. That's just crazy. Strategy are vulnerable what the fuck is on the attacks oh, and the immense cost of failed kills. Yoink. While many constructors Ooh. have the size required to show oh, okay. their nice spaces. Bro, I'm not worried about your shit. Nice spaces, nice spaces. Fortunate amount of oh, damn. Oh. snakes. As large builds are often more greedy, Dylan, high risk, high reward. He did, he did. Constructor players will make good use of the camouflage ability. Uh oh. Out of the uh -oh. boa faction, the most powerful build is without a doubt the anaconda. These are among the heaviest of any snake and by far the tankiest, with an HP stat that renders this most physical attacks almost go. negligible. <laughs> While anacondas are significantly less powerful terrifying, on land, with greatly reduced speed on terrestrial maps, their mobility, stealth, and camouflage bonuses These bitches go underwater? Make them right, crazy. Bro, them snakes swim out of time, Anacondas are capable of serious speed when you're doing these things can counter at the bottom of that hole. Size making nearly any unsuspecting player who enters the water an easy time. Man, that's some bullshit, bro. Oh, yeah, you're water, no matter what. Yeah, you're hoes. Nigga, it's rest. Nigga, it's rest. Allowing them to expend minimal energy while camouflaged in aquatic vegetation, waiting for the perfect opportunity to carry out an so ambush much attack. Better than, <laughs> Despite their formidable base stats, <laughs> oh, and no, no, not the specialized no, forms of gameplay, the fact that anacondas are only truly viable in aquatic environments limits their utility and places nah, them back squarely in Oh, yeah, the most competitive right, in the Python faction is the Burmese oh, Python. Oh, this is Anaconda or Python? It's Python. Python. Hey, yo, it's no, no, hey, 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 yo. A jack of all trades play style. Bro, why y'all so scared of building? That nigga was digging in that bitch. And or boreal biomes, in spite of their large size. Burmese Pythons are therefore excellent generalist builds. Oh, and as seen with many other generalists, they have been causing serious disruption in servers that they weren't meant to be spawning in. Burmese Pythons have totally destabilized the meta of the Florida Everglades. Do most uh, of the Pythons extremely not going a matchup against non-social mammal birds? Rage be fighting these hoes? Lack of the yeah, type of that normally keep be the fighting them hoes and alligators and crocodiles and Now, shit thankfully, the current top tier of the Everglades is quite capable of defeating or repelling a Python in single combat. But mm. because the let go of my nigga, bro. is restricted to the aquatic zones, the pythons essentially have complete control of the arboreal zone, which has led to okay. a drastic reduction in players running mammal Oh, you better tell me. Why are you that hoe? He's not the fuck boy. What the fuck is that nigga eating? You guys have put no stick that's in beat out. There's higher tier stakes, much more viable choices for most gameplay stuff. Nah, ain't no way, bro. That hoe. Put that bitch in D. Builds in lower tiers can use the venom. That's it. I'll smoke it. Or higher rides almost exclusively on using to dump a majority of evolution points into maximizing venom efficiency and delivery methods. Members Whoa. of the Viper class dominate the AG. <laughs> oh, they're going to most feared builds by the Vipers have a highly special offensive and sexy way. Keep up! Keep up! Don't y'all just want to see a snake just... No, nigga. No, we can... We can look at them and then just eat the house. Look at that bitch. That shit clean. Oh, that shit lame as fuck. That shit is nature, bro. That hell is in his head. The flesh destroying hemotoxins used by the people in this group is that they can... That was a true combo. I know that shit. That was a hit confirmed. Most Viper builds also expect to be infrared heat sensing in their own mind. I'm going to eat that nigga. Them extremely powerful what, what else? ambush attackers and okay. compensating for lack of speed. Yeah, it is. Some members There's of your the right. attack on tail adaptations too. You'll be the first one to say, "Oh, let me see, let me wow. see you beat it." These perks oh, are minor cheap. compared to the raw offensive potential. But they no. Coming in at the bottom of the are Gaboon Vipers. Combining the highest defense stat <laughs> and venom special with near unbeatable <laughs> stealth they say and incredibly voice. high strikes. <laughs> the black rat. Despite their bulky appearance, Kaboon Vipers are almost hey, invisible to the gameplay and are notorious for unsuspecting players. 
due to the sheer volume of venom oh. delivered during an attack, despite oh. the oh. powered toxicity the other vipers. Yeah. The With the longest fangs of any viper, yeah, we they can do significant oh. physical piercing damage. Sure, we ah, no, that shit hurt, nigga. Fuck the lame they ass. Energy by remaining bro. motionless when not in combat. And <laughs> are that shit crazy, bro. That nigga got horns on his head. What the fuck? While Gaboon Vipers are an excellent choice for ambush-based play in jungle maps. Their lack of versatility and low aggression Who the fuck means they, they can be each other dancing outmaneuvered by other birds. <laughs> oh, cotton mouth. Cotton mouths oh. rank slightly higher in A tier due to their rare ability to use the skill set of the Viper class effectively <laughs> in the aquatic realm. As the only Viper You're build stupid. in the game with aquatic <laughs> adaptations, their potent venom and fish-shaped fangs okay. make them incredibly effective at farming out fish and frog players for easy XP. This builds specs into the caudal luring ability at lower levels, allowing them to quickly become competitive and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better camouflage. Cotton mouths are also relatively tanky and escape many combat situations no, by using the 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 Their dominance in aquatic maps makes them able to fly all around them. More competitive dirty ass ass but Damn. this is limited oh, by biome shit. and therefore not useful during the majority of gameplay. Stone Cold! Best oh, suited for oh, yeah, so cool. <laughs> These snakes combine a variety of overpowered mm, special dang, I know that shit hurt, well bro. It's the Texas oh, rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes it's are so highly cool. capable builds for ambush. Oh, That's what we call oh, people. Oh, oh, the ability to create thermal it. maps of other players in low visibility situations, which makes them one of the most effective counters for map oh, oh, night vision. Oh, Instead of risking damn, other oh, players. Rattlesnakes deliver a lethal oh, amount of venom in one quick oh, strike, oh, and then use their prey tracking them, ability right, to find weed, them after they've succumbed to uh, oh, the Oh, damn! Let it go, let it go. Is that shit not a little bit of a intimidation <laughs> technique, get your, get which allows them to scare up, off man. more powerful Come challengers on. without Niggas wasting not out there, some serious damage. Well, no, 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 looking at what's in front of them. Relatively well-rounded stats among members of the Viper class. All Viper builds are still classified as glass cannons. Oh, they got him! Oh, they got him! Hey, 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 h
and inexperienced players may struggle at playing around the Sea Snake's defensive. Damn! Whoa! The Sea Snake build has a unique playstyle that can Oh, that nigga's spinning! But with the ability to 1v1 heals and win, what? sits at the top of those who win the challenge. Damn, The Black On this tier list is the Black Mom. Kobe, Kobe! overpowered base stats for their class, including ridiculous damage and speed, the Black Mamba is by far the most competitive Damn. in Oh yeah, these hands don't play right here. Situations. Look at that dude. Oh, boy, I'm just with scared. Respect. I know he don't play. Man, why he using all his pin him on that little ass rat? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? I am Nigo Amigo. That's bullshit. I'm saying it, bro. Y'all saying it. Y'all gonna watch someone die and be like, that's what they just said. They're using all that pin him on that little ass rat. He makes that nigga the fuck out. Feared opponents in direct combat. Oh, stop, bro. That nigga cheating, bro. Extremely aggressive and aggressive. Considering that their HP and defense stats are among the highest of any Venom users, uh, niggas must be, they stop shit for real. You know, uh, uh, oh, 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 niggas do look up to niggas. What the fuck are they doing? Black Mambas dominate by using strategies of snake players and do so to an exceptionally effective degree. Topic Can't these hoes kill elephants and shit? Damn! Damn. No way it kills Simba! Black Mamba is the undefeated ruler of Simba. These are real bitches, bro. So I can't even do anything about this. Hell can't even. He can't even eat them, though. He's hold them. But it's still worth knowing how they stand up against each other and how all their strengths and weaknesses are. There's a lot more to snakes than just their general combat abilities, though. How do snakes deal with cold damage? How can snakes climb trees so easily without claws or cling pads? If you're really interested in knowing all the ins and outs of the snake build, I highly Damn, recommend checking shit. out this video sponsor. Bro, that shit was history. interesting as They have well, this excellent cat, documentary that called was the Secrets Lives of Snakes, which answers a lot of questions I didn't even know I had about snakes. <laughs> it goes into way more depth than I have time for. Oh, what the fuck they doing? And hey, hey, hey Rocky Martin needs to get Venom, bro. They need to get Venom. That ain't it. Let's go that nigga up. They're supposed to get the poppin' this. It's my take on this place. That shit was dead. I just released a new episode featuring the Chica as the main. Man. I also have some old episodes featuring a few dinosaurs, as well as one where I main the mantid fly. Curiosity Stream is normally 20 bucks a year, but I do have a special deal just about, for two members. They talking about do the cat members. one, bro. Is 26% off. Is the cat one live? Cat one. It comes bundled. What are y'all talking about a cat one? The, Hold on, y'all really spamming it? So what's the cat one? Damn. Damn. All right, bitch. All right, fuck what's it. What's the cat one? Yeah, oh, put on the cat one. What the cat it's one? It's gotta be lines and shit in that hoe. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, I got my fucking right, so tiger. Right, so you on dinosaur builds. Hey, number one. Yeah. The fact that no, I got a lot. Somebody had, somebody had donated. Lot. Comments from angry cheetah mains. Oh, they said it's time, it's time to have the gorilla versus and black mama enough, debate again. I, I mean, I'm still, I'm still choosing to be in there with the black mama. Oh, yeah. Figured out it killed two birds. Five black mambas? I also finally released a If I go somewhere, bro. If I go somewhere that has one opening that come in, bro, I'm going to see that hook come in, bro. Yeah, but you have to stay up for the whole clock for hours. Really? We do that for the broad video. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Uh, what? It's would you rather? Or I could just go f in a fucking Foot Locker back closet that's fucking deep as shit and find a corner and go to sleep in that and, hole. And then that gorilla wanna go in there and get some size nine and a half fives and he gonna find your motherfucking ass. That hoe not gonna fucking find me, bro. That hoe not even gonna be looking for me for real. The hoe's a smart. Even, smart even, as a even if it did, even if it did, even if it did find me, probably not even gonna fuck with me for real. What? Why? Why wouldn't it? Them hoes, bro. They, they territorial as fuck. I can just go sleep in some random fucking corner. I'll be all right. <laughs> go to sleep in every nah, room. I'm going to go to sleep with that nigga. All right, that's all right, Dylan. First of all, that hoe is in unfamiliar territory. That hoe is going to be going crazy. Me, it's going to be, it's, it's be going crazy. A mall, bro? You know how big that bitch is? I'm not going through this hoe again, bro. Let's yeah, watch, bro, let's let's watch this video, bro. <laughs> We're trying to see. We're trying to see what this hoe's talking about, bro. You seen them black mamas faster than a bitch? I'm playing. Oh, I'm playing. They ain't faster than no goddamn gorilla, bro. They're not faster than gorilla. You don't need to get a stay away from that black mama. That hoe's on your ass. Put a video, bro. The matter for more than a while, and though this isn't true, we see this shit, bro. Of which what was that? Those back in the day uh, cats. cats. Are about their spot mm -hmm. Back in the day, cats. Being the best choice by far. Anyone looking to play an assassin or rogue class. Their weapons and movement kit are carefully crafted to allow cat players to have an easier time scoring critical hits on their targets than most other carnivore players. Like yeah, said, the fact they call these animals players and shit, I'm yeah, fucking dead. They gave it a, a, a cat eyes Instead, perk. I'm going to go over the most mm. popular ones. Dave Zero doing if I was to say y'all got the Amazon River or the Nile River for uh, more terrifying. I'm going to say Amazon, bro. Everything over there is yeah, Amazon. OP is a bitch. Right at the bottom. Bugs is crazy over there. Oh, so they saying turn up the boss. Cheetahs F? They, like, no, no they got no, they got no, they got no Cheetahs can't fight they got for got real, no bro. They just fast. When it comes to scoring kills on Bill. Oh. And if they get hurt, they fucked like up. Yeah, if they, if they get hurt, they had it. Oh, look at that shit. Damn. Oh. 
The oh, so cool. Those particular targets in that particular situation. Bro, I think I it's might just no be an animal nigga, bro, bro, or something, bro. Like, what you talking about? As a result, a high Maybe I just need to go to a safari. Feel sad. You feel sad? Dez, we already went to a goddamn safari and you almost got killed by that goddamn zebra. I want to go to another one then. You almost got killed by that zebra. To reap the benefits of their high mobility. You gonna say? The cheetah's inability. They said room plate, buddy. I'm fucking dead. Extremely difficult for new cheetah players too. High-level players can't prevent stronger builds from griefing the new cheetah players. <laughs> 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 oh, they, they say, they say we need to listen, bro. They say we need to listen. I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm listening. Turn up a little bit. Long the volume already turned up on YouTube. Because they get oh, okay. way too hard by competing builds. I'm gonna go back a little bit, Indeed, Which is definitely Fences. an impressive title to hold. All right, look at that when it comes to shit. That bitch fast, that bitch fast. With high mobility, like gazelles, antelope, and ostriches, yeah. there are a few better at it than the cheetah. Mm -hmm. But while this works against those particular targets in that particular Damn, you niggas about it. Serves no purpose Execute it, that nigga. Bro, high the end is a fucking hose. Bro. And as a result, a high percentage of the kills a cheetah gets end up getting stolen by lions and hyenas. Oh, yeet. <laughs> yeet. He doesn't have higher power and defense death to actually be able to reap the benefits of their high mobility. Bro, this nation shit. Let me get bullied. bullied. The early Ain't no fucking difficult for new cheetah honor out there, bro. High level players. Oh, yeah, can't hear. Okay, I won't. I'll be calling it. Well, oh, turn me down a little bit, Lou. Result, very few turn you down specifically. Reach the late game where like, they lose like, like, their ability like, stats. Like, you know, Long story everybody. short, F tier because they get bodied way too hard by competing builds. In D tier, we've got the links. I don't have too much to say about them. Links above a cheetah is crazy. They got low medium stats across the board, with the exception of stealth. And they do possess one relatively useful ability. A snow, a uh, link. Get them niggas out of here. <laughs> the <laughs> the best of taking out small prey. You know, clean, clean as fuck. Well, it's clean. clean. Oh, really clean, a bitch. Such as the owl or the viper. Mm. While they don't get griefed nearly as badly as cheetahs, they do have to watch out for cougars, wolves, and coyotes. One level higher than the cougar. Cougar. While okay. His stealth is actually a bit lower than the lynx's. All other stats are a good bit higher, especially strength. This is why I wanted to see However, a little bit bigger mountain. Oh! Oh, like he's still on his step oh, 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 that nigga. Oh, oh, get on. 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 Never discussed the <laughs> He stuck that nigga out, bro. Hell no. Oh, oh, nobody's seen that. Too good not to mention. <laughs> Cougars lack access to the roar move, but that doesn't what? stop them from trying. And as what? a result, they have one of the craziest battle cries in the game. Instead of actually being useful as an intimidating sonic AOE, it instead sounds almost exactly like a woman being brutally murdered. Mm. Which is one of oh, the that's few that's ways that's 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 There are two major styles. We heard that whole remember? Going for a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Big Bear. Oh, style oh and yeah, we did. Style. All of the builds so far. Yeah, I was ready to max a nigga out immediately. Style, which Bro, generally has higher no. mobility but lower strength. It's like kind of the Panther style cats, on the other hand, are stronger, bulkier, and also have access to the Panther signature move, Roar. So we're finally going to Lean donated the phone, phone. said, been watching y'all uh, ever, ever since I was 12. Now I'm 19, for real. The Keep up with the, the fire content and uh, stay blessed. Much love to y'all. Appreciate you, my boy. Yeah, well, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Lean. Panther style builds. This is the smallest. You should pause next time you do that, Lean. offers the left oh, player right, maximum mobility while climbing. A trade that you the full. Nigga came out of a tree. Max is bitch ass up. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Stronger than the cheetah. Dropped him from a no tree. The fucking tree, bro. But unlike the cheetah, leopards actually Ooh. have a way to avoid getting their kills stolen. Ah. Leopards can climb much better than any of their competitors, and they do have high enough strength. Got a rhino? A tree. Yo. This allows them to gain all of the XP. Oh, so. All these traits together earn the leopard high B tier. High now we're at B? A tier, and this is where the tier list gets a little money, since we've only got two tiers okay. left to place quite a few more builds. Well, it's gotta be lots of being honest, even though I placed leopards in B tier, the Snow Leopard players, with their extra stealth bonus, have a strong argument for A tier. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, at the bottom of A tier, we have the largest of the cats, the Tiger. Not many unique abilities, uh, but generally just very okay. high stats. While Tigers do have decent stealth, they rely more on their sheer power for winning fights. Back, this back, allows them there. to take out tough and dangerous Ooh. players like the Boar. One top tier ability they do have is their incredibly powerful jump, Ooh. making them deceptive. Damn! Oh, you ain't getting away from that. Overall, if the tier list was simply oh about God. who would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Tigers would be S tier, no doubt. Unfortunately, that isn't the case, because even though they'd lose what's in a one-on-one -on -one fight with a Tiger, Lions are undoubtedly more viable mm. overall. So what's, mm. is, is, are, are they counting Ligers or some shit? What the fuck is an S, bro? Are they counting Ligers or some shit? What the fuck is an S? 
and lions are basically the. They better be fucking stacked, bro. Attack. Hold on, hold on. So damn. far, most of the other cats we've talked about Ooh, all generally oh, target. Damn, the motherfuckers gotta be strong as shit. But lion players oh, are yeah. the only ones bold enough to deliberately attack a tank. Their highly <laughs> organized parties they form allow them to control entire sections of the map, and their defined Look roles prevent leeching and also protect newer players from gankers. All in all, great build, easily A plus tier. And finally, we've reached the top Gotta be a liger, bro. The build that embodies everything excellent about the cat dynasty. Nah. The Jaguar. Jaguars oh, are the absolute mm, best Jaguar. in the entire game. I knew it was going to be some... Oh, with fuck. A hit. Hold on, so let, me, let me hear his explanation. bite of any of the cats, enough to pierce what? armor. Really? And their incredible accuracy lets them nail their target right in the weak point, the back of the oh, head. Damn! They don't have the raw stats that the lion and tiger do, but they more than make up for it with their special abilities. The most important is their incredible eyes, which negate all stealth bonuses. Most what? cats have great vision and can even see in darkness, but the jaguar can even see a target obscured by camouflage or hiding in murky water. That's fucking OP. The second, less <laughs> obvious perk is that jaguars are the most versatile cat build available. Mm. They're great sprinters and pristine climbers, mm -hmm. but they're also just as much at home hunting in the water as they are in a tree. Mm. No other build can be oh, in arboreal, terrestrial, and aquatic map zones. They really do dominate. Lions act like they own the place, but they do face plenty of competition. But jaguars, they do own the place. Damn, Damn bro. That's crazy, want. bro. There's no need. So yeah, a build that can one-shot anything on its server and dominates three of the four main play zones. That's your S tier. That's tough. Damn. There you have it. That was that. Hey, jaguars. Okay, Thanks for watching. That's crazy. I don't even think about Did that. I'm teed now. I'm teed now. Hmm. Yeah, you buggers are getting your own video. House they doing house caps? Hell yeah, no. Nah. I ain't gonna mm. catch up. That shit, that shit long. Okay. That's a lot of bitch. I like the way, I like the yeah, presentation. Okay. I fuck with the presentation. It's yeah, one, one shot jack. Where is Mark? We already told you where Mark is. He got kidnapped, bro. Nigga gone.